All right, so today we are taking a look at the Salomon Active Skin 8. I used this bad boy for the first time today, gave it a full test run. Honey is popping in the background. Um, so I filled these up with some water to show you guys how this kind of works and how it looks. Uh, but so far, so good. I used this for an eight mile run here in Texas. It's like a million degrees. Uh, even though you go out in the morning, it doesn't matter. Um, so I use it for an eight mile run and I drink all the water. Uh, but you can still put, there's room in the back if you wanted to put an extra bladder in the back. Plenty of room. This pocket opens up essentially from like the top down uh, and it goes right down the side. So you can kind of easily put stuff in the side. I put my keys uh, and some head and my headphone case in this, in this pack. I didn't really need a ton, so I didn't stuff this thing and have this thing bulging like some people on, you know, trail rate runs and trail races, but um, it seemed to serve its purpose. So that seems pretty good. It is very, very light. Uh, I got the size large. I am five foot 10, 170 to 175 pounds, give or take. Uh, and so I got the size large. I probably could have gone medium, but it would have been really snug. And I just figured that when I add stuff to this, if I have, you know, if I load it up, I just want the extra room. Uh, and so it fits pretty good for me. Uh, I'm definitely not like your standard skinny runner build. I definitely have more muscle than like your average long distance runner. So that's why I thought the large just to be safe would probably be a good idea. So um, easily straps on right here. I'm gonna strap it on and then I'm gonna put the bottles in to show you. I was kind of concerned because I've never used one of these before. So I was kind of concerned with the bottles, um, like how or with the, if the flasks, the soft flasks, how those were going to kind of stack up and, and hold and like, would it be really annoying? But uh, okay, so. Here they are, they're full, they're 15 ounces, 450 milliliters, I believe. Uh, and so there's pockets here. So there's a couple pockets. You have this top pocket right here, which is what goes down all the way. That's what the flask, I guess, technically speaking, is supposed to go in. If I pull it open and I just kind of shake this thing down, boom, we're good to go. There's actually a couple little things. There's like a little bit of a elastic or whatever little hook you can hook on right here to hold it up however you see fit. I didn't even use that, to be honest. It stayed pretty good like this for the entirety of the eight miles. Uh, I didn't have anything hooked in there to hold them up or whatever. Uh, I just adjusted them a couple of times if I felt like I had to. And I only really did once uh, I started drinking out of them and they started to kind of, you know, diminish in terms of volume. So same thing here, I'm just gonna shake this guy. Give me a second here, boom. And it's pretty much down. So that's that, there's also a hook or a strap right here that I could strap these kind of into if I wanted to, I guess you could do that. There's, you know, a tons of straps, tons of bands, tons of elastics, you know, for whatever you need. This is a little bit of annoying. So if I step back, you know, you see we kind of have like, okay, we're kind of in, you can adjust this to tighten it. So if I loosen this guy up, okay, like it's pretty loose. These are kind of hanging out to the side pretty far. Like if that's what works best for you and that feels good, cool. Uh, I ran today with it like this, so, I wanted it pretty close, pretty tight, um, but this is kind of annoying. So as you're running, you're like, oh, this thing is kind of flapping around. Maybe it's not a big deal. What I just did is I took it and I hooked it up into this pocket right here. Problem solved, not a big deal. Um, phone went right here, phone pocket right here. It's right for my phone. Super convenient, easy access. It's like a zippered pocket, boom, pop the phone in. I don't have it on me at the moment. Actually, it's recording the video. Uh, pop the phone in, pop it out if I needed to, two seconds done. Uh, other than that, um, there's more pockets in the front. You've got access to that you can put stuff in, you know, snacks and gels and whatever. Uh, I'm gonna probably start doing that as time goes on as I start upping the distance. But um, so far, so good. And also, I was kind of, I've never used this before, so I was kind of concerned about like how do these flasks work. All Literally all you do, you come in here, you put a little pressure, like your teeth, you bite it, I guess and then you suck it in, or uh, you could just literally just kind of push and squeeze as you kind of bite down on the top rubber part, and that water comes right up. But as you get down towards the end, uh, a little bit of a squeeze, a little bit of a suck, easy money, the stuff comes right up, uh, and you're good to go, had no problems with that. Was kind of concerned how it was gonna work, but it worked great. And so you can kind of see the back, the backpack, plenty of room for storage, plenty of room to put an extra bladder back there, there's even a, a hole that kind of comes through the top right here. You can put and then have that hose extend out. So, I mean, for me, when I start doing some longer distances, you're going to have two 15 ounce 
right here, and then you can put a bladder on the back. I have a couple different sizes I believe I've got a one liter and a two liter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm gonna see how those fit, but you can kind of customize that to make it you know, work for you. If it's not super hot, this, is, this would last me a long time. It's just that I'm, I'm absolutely drenched, soaking wet from head to toe. That's why these for eight miles is pretty much what I needed. And I honestly need more fluids after the fact. I was still down about a pound and a half or two pounds from when I left this morning, which generally is a sign that I needed to drink more water. So overall though, the Active Skin 8, nice and snug. I like it. Great experience, first time using it, and I'm definitely a fan.